Hey everybody, it's Miss Jamie OT, and I'm so excited to be here with my good friend, Dana Carey, the OT Guide. So this is kind of a pop-up surprise video, but I am so excited to be working with her because Dana just taught me a new skill and she taught it to me in like a second. So I was watching Dana's video on how to create a jam board and out of the blue, I just decided that's it. I'm going to create a jam board. Dana, you made it so easy that I was hoping that you would come on and explain it to some of my followers so that they might feel a little bit better about using jam board. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. So hi, everyone. My name's Dana. I've been a pediatric occupational therapist for the past few years now. Uh, I've worked in schools and I've worked in early intervention and I've had a lot of fun with teletherapy and I've found Jamboard to be extremely helpful, very versatile and a fun way to make my teletherapy sessions more interactive and back and forth with my students. So I'm excited to show you guys how to use it. I'm so excited too. So I actually didn't have to do teletherapy. So I didn't, I wasn't familiar with all of these tools that everybody else kind of was thrust into. And now that I'm just getting my feet wet in it, I was a little nervous. But when I saw your video on YouTube, I was like, wow, this girl makes it seem so easy. And I was really inspired to create a whole product. So I'm going to let Dana screen share so she can show us or show you guys what she showed me when it comes to using Jamboard and how very easy it is. Yes, so do not be intimidated by Jamboard. So you need a Gmail account to work Jamboard. So what you're gonna do once you create your Gmail account is you're gonna click on these circles for Google Apps, okay? And you're gonna open up your Jamboard. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click on Jamboard. So that's where I am now. Uh, and Jamboard is really, really cool. You can use it for a bunch of different things. So let's say I'm working on my students' visual motor skills and I want to have them get practice with tracing. I have a tracing Jamboard. So I click on my tracing Jamboard. And during this time, I'm sharing my screen and I'm giving my student control over the screen. If your student is using a platform that doesn't allow you to give screen control, what you're going to do is you're going to click on share. And you're gonna add your student's name here and make them an editor. They have to be an editor to be able to interact with your Jamboard. But what's so cool is, um, what's so cool is you can have your student then take the pen and do the tracing activity um, as if they're using pencil and paper. And it's great too because it's working on their mouse control. Um, so really cool. So they can draw right color. But let's pull up Jamie's jams. So here we go. But what I love about that, Dina, too, is that if they have a touch screen, they can do it with a stylus. So it's really very similar to working on handwriting. Although yes. some of my kids do need to work on mouse control, so I would probably do it the other way with them. Yeah, definitely. Um, and if you have a kid who's working on like finger isolation, they can use their pointer finger to do the tracing or make pre-writing strokes. So it's like really mm -hmm. versatile. You can make it like a pencil or you can make it, have them work on their mouse control, really whatever you want. Um, I really like the laser pointer as the teacher that you can use a laser pointer and it disappears. And it's kind of like you're giving the visual model of how to make the letter or draw the shape and then the child can copy without yeah. the actual model being there anymore. Yeah super easy and um it's really it's basically just like sharing a virtual whiteboard with your student so right. it's really it's really nice um so let's segue so let's go into your um your jam board that you created which is amazing so for I'm totally i was totally 100 percent inspired after i saw your video on youtube i was like i can make this this isn't so bad this isn't so hard Yes, and I love how you um, have tri-line paper for all of your letters here, very, very cool. So again, if you're using Jamie's workbook, your student would then click on the pen uh, and they can experiment with different colors, whatever, and they can practice their letter E. And again, like they're, it's like they're drawing. It's like they're doing it with a pen and paper in front of them. And they uh, love that they get to choose the color, of course. Yeah, and what's cool too is like, 
they can erase. You can have them erase the, the, the writing on here without it erasing like your actual workbook. Right. Um, yeah, and you can have them cut like all the images that you have here. You can have them color it in. Like you can have them color in the eggs. You can have them color in planet Earth. It's just really fun, and it's a good way during teletherapy to work on handwriting because I feel like during teletherapy it's been tricky to figure out a way to work on handwriting. Um, yes, and that's a lot of um, a lot of therapists are complaining about that. They're like. I, I, I'm at a loss, you know, but the, the virtual whiteboard definitely gives us another tool to use. Yeah. When I first started teletherapy, I would have like my students write on paper and then like hold it up and I'd be like, wait, stand still. And like, so this is way better. You don't almost need to ask them to use like a black magic marker, but you can't watch them write. So you're not noticing if they're making mistakes with their letter formation or anything. Yeah, it's like impossible to see. It's, yeah, a nightmare. So Jamboard is, again, it's easy. All you need is a Gmail account. Um, and then let's say you want to make your own jam. Okay, to make a jam, all you do is you click on the plus sign here on the bottom right corner. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, it's creating the jam. Okay. And then depending on the activity you want to do, like the sky's the limit. So let's say you want your student to color in shapes that you make, color in circles. Okay, cool. Let's say you want them to do a letter matching activity. Uh, so what you do here is you click on the sticky notes. So watch me. I I'll love the sticky notes. They're so fun. The sticky notes are fun. So like, I'm, okay, right now I'm making up a little letter matching activity. I've got uppercase and lowercase a, uppercase b, lowercase b. So then I would drag and drop the stickies. And like the activity could be really whatever you want it, but like connect the uppercase to the lowercase letter. Um, if you want to have instructions, you would click on this T text box and you could put it wherever you want. And, you know. Um, if you want to add shapes, you can add shapes that way. Um, if you have activities that you really love that are PDFs on your computer already and you want to screenshot them and upload them to here, it's really easy. So like I have like a, a Hulk coloring picture on my desktop that I want to upload. So I'm going to show you. There we go, bada bing, bada boom. I'm uploading my my Hulk picture. So now I the student would love that. Yeah. So now the activity is okay. Color in the Hulk, or maybe you have a color by number activity that you love. Like you just screenshot it because Jamboard requires J JPEGs, I believe. So you just have to screenshot it and then upload it by clicking on Add Image. And then, and then when you think of OT brains, like right away, I'm like, oh, I could work on body awareness. We could play Simon Says. And then they would have to circle the body parts on the Hulk and then point to theirs and then try to draw their own person. You know, there's so many things that you can do. But by having that visual cue and something to kind of gear the session, it makes it so much more fun. Yes, definitely. So I, I highly recommend it. I, I, I love it. I really do. I think Jamboard's amazing. And as I said, I learned how to use Jamboard in like maybe five minutes watching Dana's channel. I was so excited to discover her that I had to reach out and connect. And she's just been such a great teacher. So I'm encouraging all of you guys, go check out the OT guide on YouTube. Dana's got a bunch of really cool videos and some free activities that you can download um, to use on your own Jamboard. Yeah, come check Come check it out. I have a lot of free teletherapy activities uh, and I hope to see you all soon. And I love what you're doing to help therapists in this time. I think it's so important that we're kind of banding together to try to help each other out because I know that burnout is high and real and we want our kids to be engaged and it's, it's hard to figure out what's the activity going to be. So just to have somebody there that you almost feel like is a coworker giving you some great yeah. therapy ideas is just such a relief. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jamie, for having me on your thank webinar. Thank you. 
Yeah. And I look thank you for the inspiration and the um, showing off my product. I'm so excited that I was able to make my own jam board and it coincides with my webinar that I'm having. So I yeah. feel like so successful and it's all because of you. Aw, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're watching this video, I hope that you guys will go check out the OT guide. Make sure you subscribe to her on YouTube because she's fantastic. And I'm sure she has a lot of other great things coming our way. So thank you guys for watching and have an awesome night.